Hello, this is another episode of Raimondo. Hey, 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 hey. What to do when you don't know what to do. This is how to make a bowler suit for dummies. I know it's expensive to buy a suit. It's only $45, but for the ones that really don't have it, I'm going to show you how to make your own bowler suit at home. Now, a caller called in and he wants to know how to make it, and this is Sean. Sean Ward. How y'all doing today? Well, today what we're going to do is we're going to show people that if you don't have the money right now to buy yourself in a bolo suit, uh, you can also make one at home, okay? A classic, and yeah. at the same time... Now, this is how it's going to be. You get you some trash bags, and you open them. Open your trash bag. So, basically, this is a box of 12, but all you need are eight trash bags. So the first thing you're gonna do, trash bag, you can pull it, bust a hole in it, and you put one leg through it. Then you get the tape. And you tape one leg. over your feet so your feet can be secured from contamination when you walk. Like this. You put it in there and you tape it. Then you do the other one, your other leg. So you, you just put a hole in it like this. You can rip it or you can use scissors to be able to slide them over your leg. The main thing is to make sure you protect it. Take this. Then you try to do it as accurately and as fast as possible. So once you get that update on the news saying the bowler alert it has been spotted, someone contaminated in your neighborhood. So it's good for your family. So go ahead and stack up on trash bags. And water to secure your feet because you step in body fluids. Now, once you secure this part, then you put the bottom, you put your top on. Or your own. We can start with one sleeve. And then again, you put a hole in Right now, I'm not really using an assistant because you got to be able to apply this yourself. Because you never know when the warning is coming into effect. You use some of this blue tape, I ran out of red. But it don't matter what color the tape, it doesn't really matter as long as it gets the job done. You 
got that part on. And once your arm in there, you put your gloves on. You go to any CVS, Walmart, anywhere and get gloves. Dollar stores, anywhere. And the bigger the person, the bigger the trash bag. One more. Big go, trash bag. One, one, look, look, check it out. One more, go all the way up. The third one, go all the way up. One more hole. And tape this here, be good. No, no, no. Two holes on both ends. Two holes on the corner, and use that as draw. You go like this. Like draw. Not working. <laughs> hey, listen. Oh shit! No, that make it more reason why you need to buy this suit. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> we got here. We're uh, making our own bubble suits. Bad disease. And uh, we sure intend. Oh, you out of town, though. You got to. Yeah. Then, you got the last and final one. Your headgear. You had a little scissors. Okay. You cut a hole before you place it over your head so you wouldn't suffocate. Cut a face. Just put a split down the middle. <laughs> we got audience already. This yeah, only for yourself, yourself, but nobody, you ain't gonna be, every man for himself. Then, because you might be alone, so the best thing is try to teach your kids to do it alone, your spouses, everyone, because you never know. Fuck it, we're gonna die. Then you have your mask on. There you have it, the bowler suit for dummies. <laughs> this is Raimondo in another episode. Keep yourself protected by all means necessary. For low budget, ghetto, household appliance. This is the ghetto a bowler suit, the version of it. We also have available for a limited time. 
The big one. You can go get the big one there, the real one. Thank you, sir. Now we're coming in with a veteran, with the military, with a suit, the proper suit. So what I did was quick and efficient way to stop the spread of Ebola. Well, who we have here is Agent Hook coming in. This is Agent Hook. This is the full body suit. Official Ebola suit. I'd like to come in and say one thing. My name is Sean Ward, and I'm with HoustonEbola.com. Um, if you really want to protect your family, and you really would like to not have to go through something just like we went through, please visit our website. We're going to show you exactly what you need to protect your family because we don't know what they're saying on the news, uh, on how this outbreak is going to be or how big it's going to be, but we do know the government and all the media are all focused on this. So uh, please go again to HoustonEbola.com and find out more information about this virus and how to prevent it. Thank you. Yes, and we also have Agent Hood. What do you have to say about the Ebola? Speechless. All the scientists, all the young kids, learn science, learn how to fix it. Because it's going to be the youth, the kids, that find us a cure. I need all the kids around the world, learn your science and math, and become something great and save the world. We need your help. Yes, and as you see, it's empty. Everybody is in quarantine. Nobody's outside. The floor grounds are empty. Empty. Nobody's outside. Nobody. No airplanes are flying in the sky. Everybody's gone. And now I'm going to show you how to properly expose of your Ebola suit and trash bags, trash containers. Yeah, screw it. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So right now we're finna properly expose of it. Just throw it away. And make sure you put it in the hazardous place. So nobody else won't get contaminated. And it's quite simple. How y'all doing? And this um, simple technique will save you and your family's life. So you can buy this as a Halloween costume for one day and store it in your closet and it might save your life one day. For a special price of $45, we had a whole Ebola kit. Again, we were doing this video to, be for, to give you a lot of information regarding what's going on. There's a lot of people out here that really believe that this thing ain't real that uh, it's not coming, but it is. So again, you can suit up this way and protect your family, or you can go to www.houstonebolo.com. Thanks a lot. My name is Sean Ward. I'm be happy to see you guys. Come on out so we can do some stuff together. And if you love your kids and you love your family, don't tell them, show them. Show them through your actions by Following all the safety tips that I just showed you, Raimundo, the Ghetto MacGyver. Brrr, hi, hi, hi! Brando.